I'm right now I'm at like a three probably but the rehab process is going incredible I've been working very hard uh, haven't had much time off but um, I've just been having a ton of fun um, doing it or not fun but I've been enjoying it because I've seen incredible progress and I know I'm gonna come back stronger than I was before oh man I just remember walking off and telling Steve, I'm just going to go in the back and hopefully you'll loosen up. But uh, uh, once I went back there and didn't feel the energy of the crowd or see my teammates or feel that ball in my hands, the adrenaline wears off. And uh, I just realized that I did something pretty significant. And um, although it happened... Uh, I can wholeheartedly say that, you know, I uh, left my heart out there on the court and tried my hardest, and sometimes you come up short in sports. Actually, today I watched the Korea-China game. Yeah, and uh, that point guard for China played great. He made it. He made some huge threes down the stretch. So that was cool to see. Um, uh, and um, my favorite players are probably... Uh, I like that number five. I like that guy for China. Number five. I like playing against him. I liked uh, watching Giannis play. Um, I love, of course, Team USA. I love watching Brazil, the Brazilian duo of Leandro Barbosa and Anderson Verjao play because they're great teammates and those guys are have so many years of professional ball under them that they still have so much love for the country. They're still playing. So it's cool to see those guys play and Luis Scola because that guy is on. I think on pace to break the FIBA World Cup scoring record, so good for him, man. It's just to see the Patriot or to see how much they love playing for the country is really, really cool. That's a good question. Um, well, you want to play with as much passion as you can because the fans, they want to see you play with heart. And um, sometimes you don't want to let that emotion control you and get the best of you. So you have to play very level-headed, and um, it's a hard balance, but it takes years to perfect. Um, but you have to give yourself room to fail, because it's a part of sports, failing. You know, there's only one winner every year, so 29 other teams can fail, and you just have to be um, very, very uh, conscious in that, not... not Letting emotion take over. Well, the big adjustment will be accepting that I won't see the floor for a long time. The longest time in my basketball playing career. So I have to be able to just be patient and support my teammates from the sideline. And just be a leader. Uh, although I can't be um, out there performing, I can still pass down what I've learned in my last eight years to my teammates, especially the young guys and um, work hard every single day to make sure I come back this season. Those are my three things I have to do. It's a good question. Uh, I actually don't keep them. Oh, I'm not, <laughs> can't tell you when to keep them. Someone's gonna go take them. But uh, I keep them locked up in a safe and from time to time I'll pull them out and just feel them. It's pretty cool to have a gold, two gold medals. I mean, um, it's, I never dreamed of that as a kid that I would be Olympic gold medalist or I'd be a FIBA gold medalist. So I, uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to perform at the highest level against international competition. And, um, yeah, they're great. They're very, very proud moments in my career. Oh, man. Um, fashion style is getting better since I've been with Laura. She's been really. Really making me dress much nicer and much more like a grown man instead of the kid I am. And as far as on the team, I'm probably like in the middle of the pack, probably like three or four. And um, the first part of the question, what was it? I kind of forgot. 
And then um, as far as clay theism, what that means to me, uh, just means to love what you do, be a great person, be the best person you can be, and live freely and have fun.